guys, my name is Smart. Today we're on a brand new video for Tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition in conjunction with each other. Because today we're going to show you how to lengthen a song or shorten a song that you want to use to fit the exact length of your video. Now there's a new, there's a new feature in a recent release of Adobe Audition called Remix. And it works very well with Premiere Pro. So you can actually make the music you want in your video fit the exact length of your video. So for example here, here I have uh, some footage of my vlog that I'm going to be uploading sometime today. And if I want to use this song right here, as you can see, it's not long enough for my entire uh, sequence here. Now usually you could copy and paste this track. Uh, an easy fix is just to you know, come over here, paste it, and well, I probably should have pasted that in the audio channel below that. And then you can bring it down here and you can sort of, you know, fade this in, fade this out, and it comes in smooth like that. You could do that. You could add another song to it also. But if you only want to use this song and you want to use this song entirely for the video, we can lengthen this dynamically through dynamic link and actually make it sound really well remixed. So what we're going to do is we're going to click our audio file here, then head up to edit. Click Edit in Adobe Audition, which is down at the bottom here, and then click Sequence. You can go ahead and press OK on this. Uh, for me, I already I tried this already, so that's why it's saying, oh, do you want to overwrite or, or whatnot. Uh, you wait till Adobe Audition opens, and it loads everything up. Here we have Adobe Audition opening. And the cool thing about this is you can actually preview your video in Adobe Audition even. There is a video panel down here at the bottom where you can actually go through your video and you can even watch it while you edit the audio. So it's a really, it's a really neat way of how uh, these two programs work very well together. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and mute uh, this piece of uh, audio because this is just the video's audio, we don't need that. And if we listen to this, the song ends right around here. So there's the end of the song. I want to keep that end of the song, it's a really good end, but I want the song to be longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to click our audio here that we want to lengthen. On the left side here, make sure you're under the Properties tab here. You might be under this tab, you might be under this tab, but go to the Properties tab and then click Enable Remix. Now when you click Enable Remix, you'll see that uh, Audition is analyzing your track. It's basically trying to get the information, uh, the beat of the song is trying to get the information of how can it best remix the song, uh, the length of the song, uh, specific parts in the song they can split and uh, basically copy and paste. What Audition is basically going to do is what you can do yourself too. You can throw this into Audition and just cut your music up into sections and find ways to piece it together manually so that it sounds good. But Audition does this automatically. Uh, very nicely. So what we're going to do now on the left side here, you have a set duration here, a target duration. Now we know that our uh, that our video is, if we move over here and we just go back a frame, our video is 4 seconds and 35, 4 minutes and 35 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and put this to, a, uh, you can put an exact length if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just put a 4 minutes and 35. So in target duration here, you can set your length. And when you press enter on that, you'll see that Audition actually starts putting pieces together. You see these little squiggly lines? These squiggly lines represent a cut was made in the song and they basically put another portion of the song into it. If we listen to one of these cuts, you can actually see there's barely a noticeable difference. So if we go ahead and zoom in on one of these and we listen. Okay, so you didn't even notice anything. You didn't even notice that there was a cut there. And similarly, if we move to the next cut here, As you can see, it sounds very natural. Now, there's also some other features you can play around with. If we go back to our track here, you have length and you also have features. Now, the length here, the edit length, basically represents how long you want these fragments to be. Uh, these little, these little uh, cuts here are fragments. This is a fragment, this is a fragment, this is a fragment. Now, if you want these fragments to be shorter, for example, then we can go ahead and bump this down some and as you'll see, we'll get more fragments. See, more fragments are in the song. And the features option right here focuses a bit more on harmonics and focuses a bit more on specific instruments. If you want to, if you want to be more prevalent, 
Uh, you can move this down as well and you'll see we also get a different cut then. As you can see, we get different cuts. So rather than focusing on the overall quality of the song, we're focusing on the instrument's quality. You can go ahead and move this one up or move it down, uh, depending on what you're looking for. But either or, whatever changes you make to these, I would recommend just listening to change it, listening to a song finally, and seeing if it sounds good. And if it does, you're ready to go. Now, once we're done, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our other audio tracks are muted. We only want to export our music's audio. Head up to multi-track here and export to Adobe Premiere Pro. And we can go ahead and select multi-track session two, a stereo file, press export. Once again, I did this already before, so that's why it's giving me a this warning here, but it probably won't happen to you. You'll see it pop up here. If you wanna go ahead and import it as a new audio track, which is just fine, press okay. And you'll see our new audio track is down here. And we can actually see how this is much longer and it now fits our video here. At the very end, you can see that it also ends like just how we wanted it to. So, pretty cool. Uh, now, if you're thinking, oh, this is an instrumental track, it only works with instrumentals, no, it also works with regular songs if you have words in them. So, hopefully YouTube won't copyright me for that. I tried to pick a, a song that's not very popular. I wanted to pick a more popular song, but we're picking one that's not very popular. Same thing with, 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 the, with the songs that have words in it. So I basically follow the exact same steps and if we listen to the end of this song... Alright, so that's the end of the song, but we want to obviously extend this to fit the length of our video, which is a bit longer. So. Same thing, we're gonna go ahead and click Enable Remix, and this will analyze the song, and then we can go ahead and set our target length, which will once again be 535 or 435, whatever it is. So it finally finished. Now, obviously, you can uh, very easily stretch this to the very end, but I wanna show you that you can also shorten songs. If you wanna use a two minute song, and you like the entire song at two minutes, but you only have a one minute video, you can very well do that. So this right now, this is like a, what, three minute song, I'd say? It's a four minute song, roughly around there. Say I want to have this song down to two minutes. That's really interesting. Can't we do that? Yes, we can. We go over here to our target duration. We type in two minutes. And as you can see, it basically splits it very nicely here. And uh, if we zoom in, I always, I always get, 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 I zoom in confused with audition and whatnot. But if we look at the splits here, let's see if we can tell the difference. As you can see, no... No, no, you can't even tell it was split there. In fact, if you listen to the start of the song, that's how it starts. And they're using this part right here. They're using this part right here for the beginning. And then they're following up into this. Oh, they're not following up into that. They're following up into a later part of the song. But as you can see, it starts very differently. It starts like that, obviously but it goes into a completely different part of the song. Here it goes. And then it goes, remember Howie? But it doesn't. You see now this is a try not to stare. So, I'm just really fascinated of how well this program does this. And if we go up into the uh, later portion of the song, you can't even tell. And if we go here, and as you can see, it ends the exact same way. So what I encourage you to do is just to throw a song into Audition that you know very well and play around with some of these target durations and you'll see what an amazing job Audition does. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw a rap song in Audition uh, uh, just after this recording. I'm gonna see how well it does it. So just play around with it. It's a really cool and really neat feature, very useful. And I hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, 
go ahead and leave a like at the bottom. Any questions or comments, any other tips you have for people in the comments section, leave it down below. I'll, answer, I'll be answering any questions you have. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go and subscribe. Lots of other audition tutorials, video editing tutorials, image editing tutorials, all kinds of cool software tutorials that I think you'll enjoy. So please subscribe. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy the content. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, the link is in the top right corner of the screen. You can click there and it'll bring you to the page. I also have a vlogging channel, a gaming channel, music channel, and advice channel. And if you want to check those out, links in the description as well as on the end screen. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you have a good holiday season, a good Christmas, a good Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever uh, holiday you celebrate. And I'll probably be back within three days. We're going to be taking the next few days off, so uh, there won't be a video for the next two, three days. I'll hopefully you understand that, and uh, hopefully you'll be good to go. And uh, have a safe uh, holiday season. So thank you for watching, and this is GS Man Smart. I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere. Wanna be, wanna be all saints, trying hard to be someone else. All we want, all we want is please. Giving us, giving no time to breathe.